The human brain is very bad at distinguishing between reality and fiction. It does not mean that we don't understand what is reality and fiction, but in the moment when you're experiencing it, the brain has all the same reactions as if it was real. Studies have shown that if you change your physicality or you put on a costume or you're given an alibi to behave differently, you change your behavior automatically as a human being. So for example, if you put on a lab coat, you become more decisive and you will become more authoritative in your language and in your body posture. And that happens unconsciously. It's the same thing in LARP. My name is Bjarke Pedersen. I've been LARPing for more than 20 years and designing for equally as long. LARP stands for Live Action Roleplay, and Nordic LARP is a specific subset where we focus on collaborative storytelling. There's many reasons why people engage in LARP, and for some, of course, it's escapism, but I think the main reason is to be able to step into somebody else's shoes for a while. You get a chance to see how other people function, and when you engage with characters that are profoundly different from you, you will learn that that character is also part of you and that maybe you can enhance the possibilities you have in your own life of engaging with other people. I think there's a movement toward being more active in stories and one of the big reasons of course that we spend so much time passively consuming stuff on screens, but people want to engage with stories, they want to contribute and they want to be able to step into these worlds together and share moments with other fans. So in traditional storytelling you often follow one or several characters. Here the only character you can engage with directly is your own. So you don't have one main character, you have a hundred main characters. All participants need to feel like the hero of their own journey. You have to build trust amongst the participants to be able to play together and to uh, be vulnerable together and tell stories that are serious and fun and dangerous. Because without feeling safe, you can't be brave. And only by being brave, you can allow yourself to play around and be something that you are not. The way I see a lab is like a big interaction machine. So I create all the cocks in the wheels, and the cocks are the characters, it's the world, it's the morality of the world. But as the players and their input are put into this interaction machine, there will be an output. And that output is each individual has their own story told by themselves and it is a unique story. So whatever happens is the right thing as long as they adhere to the rules of the world. Then you have to trust your participants to explore the theme that you have set within the given framework and they will tell way more beautiful stories than you could ever imagine yourself.